What's the deal, YouTube? I'm back here again with another unboxing, and let's get into it. But for this unboxing, I have Latafa Al Oud Amethyst. I don't want to say Batty or Bade, uh, but Latafa Al Oud Amethyst, or I'll just say Latafa Amethyst. So let's go ahead and check out this packaging on this joint. Get this one. Get this thing open. Um, they got a little bubble in it here, but it looks like it may have popped. Pull it out the box. Dang, they got the fragrance like right on the outside of the box. Not on the outside of the box, but like in the plastic to where you can see the box. Latafa made this. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Yeah, I made this. So, let's get this open. Latafa Amethyst. Okay, 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 okay. So this is like a nice purple case. Look at the nice purple case on this. Then you have the um, ingredients on the back. Latafa Amethyst with the bottle and I guess you just, wow, their presentation with these bottles be on point. I'll for sure probably keep the bottle, I mean the case. But, damn, this bottle is nice and heavy. What is this, 100 ml? Yeah, it's about 100 ml. Roughly another fragrance I got in the rail, in the, the 20 to 25, $30 range. I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I didn't pay no more than $40 for this fragrance. Um, I think this is supposed to be an inspiration of Anishio. I'm not exactly sure which Anishio, but that's what their bottles are supposed to be like. This is an inspiration of Anishio. Um, nice metal on here. Latafa Amethyus with a nice purple. Got the Latafa stuff here, there. You even have some stuff on the bottom. Other fragrance there. But let's go ahead and uh, see what it smells like. <laughs> Atomizer is all right. I gotta let it dry down a little bit because I feel like I smell oud and rose off the jump without even reading any notes. I smell oud and rose. I get like a little bit of a plastic smell off the initial spray. I don't know if that's one of the notes or if it just like an artificial plasticky like smell, but doesn't smell bad at all. I actually like it. Seems like a nice dark fragrance. I don't know about the projection. I don't know about the longevity. I don't know how long. And I don't know if it's gonna be, leave a scent trail or a scent bubble, but what I'm smelling right now, I like it. It's not bad. It's a nice rosy kind of, kind of smell, you know? So, but let's get into the notes. So the main notes are rose, oud, amber, soft, spicy, floral, vanilla, citrus, fresh, spicy, white, floral, and powdery. I can do smell like a powdery rose and oud. That's like the main things I smell um, from this fragrance. Um, I really like this bottle. This is a nice, nice looking bottle. I, I can appreciate the bottle, the texture of the bottle. Um, overall, this is a, a nice bottle and uh, pretty nicely inspired by Anishio. Let's see if I have any pros or cons on this fragrance. So for pros, we have affordable, excellent packaging for the budget, beast mode longevity, beautiful presentation. Uh, it's a unisex fragrance, sweet and smoky, compliments from others, sexy and safe for workplace or you know work environments. Now, let's see the cons. Uh, it looks like I have a synthetic opening, strong and could strong and could disturb others. 
Not good for those who hate Rose. Not a flawless victory. Not a good clone of Atomic Rose by Anishio. So there it is, supposed to be a clone of Atomic Rose. Um, strong pickly oud scent. Needs more spray than usual to have a trail. Expensive but affordable. I didn't get that one. And actually, as I do just stand here, I can smell it. I mean, it's not bad. The worst blood type of fragrance I have is Assad. I don't like Assad at all. But what I recommend Latafa Amethyst? Um, I most definitely would. It's not a bad fragrance. I mean, if you like rose, then this will be perfect for you. If you don't like rose, then you would completely hate this fragrance because this is like a rosy oud fragrance. So if you don't like rose, this wouldn't be for you. But packaging and the way the bottle looks, I'll give them like a nine out of 10. Yeah, I'll give them a nine out of 10 for packaging and just the way this bottle looks, looks pretty dope. Fragrance wise, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to go seven on fragrance. It's not bad, nothing too crazy, but we'll have to see how it does on my skin for longevity and projection. And yeah, this is Latafa Amethyst. Pretty clean bottle, pretty nice design, affordable. If you want to get your hands on it, you can go ahead and get it from Amazon, Joma Shop, places like that. Thank you guys for tuning in, watching another video. I'm out.